Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have what I'm calling the starter pack. So if you look at the previous videos I've done, I talk about my overall approach to using the Nord Stage 4 as the all-in-one solution to make it through a, you know, playing keys on a Sunday morning. In that I talk about how I use the home base patch and that covers most songs, but then uh, for each set list there's like one or two, maybe three other songs that I want to have some other, you know, patch or some other sound set up for. So as an example, I guess to review a little bit, that home base patch has like a drone, a really good synth, it's got a good piano, and it's got a good organ on it, uh, which generally is enough to make it through. But um, in my last video, I showed how, you know, we were doing Awake My Soul and Son of Suffering. And for those ones, I wanted to have something more, right? Some, some uh, more interesting uh, patch to pull from for those. So um, I kind of showed the result, but I pulled in like a hammer dulcimer, right? Which isn't in the normal home base patch. So what I wanted to do was put out what I call like a starter pack, basically, that has like some go-to organ sounds, some go-to piano sounds, some go-to synth sounds, and some go-to what I'm calling auxiliary sounds. Um, so I went through all my presets and kind of pulled out the songs that I've been using uh, on Sunday mornings a lot. And these are like bread and butter. If you have all these, uh, you really have what you need to get through like a Sunday morning service. Um, and if you picked up the Oberheim and the, the Minimoog samples as well, then you'd be set for like a real long time. I'll step through the organs first. So there's three presets. First is a B3, the second is a B3 bass that I pull in sometimes, and the third is a Farfisa. So here's the B3. The B3 bass. Uh, and then next we have the Farfisa. So super cool. Uh, if you're gonna do like an organ and a lead part, you know, like they do that in uh, Good Grace by Hillsong and it sounds sick. Uh, okay, moving on, we have the pianos. So let's jump over to those. So first is the just the normal grand piano that I use. Uh, this is actually the same one that's in that, that home base patch. So pretty simple, then we have the upright. Moving on, the roads. And then the felt. So those four pianos are really the main ones that I'm using throughout a set. Um, the felt is the one that I use for the like the ultra call time and then I'll kind of bounce back and forth between the other three depending on the song. Um, so then there's kind of some more specific ones. Uh, on all the piano patches that I have, I always have the second layer that comes in. So that's this glitter felt patch. So I put that in there in case you want to have your own, you know, piano sound and then just add that layer in. That's what you'd be able to do. Uh, then we have the grand comp, which is like a lot of the time in CCM music, the left hand is just doing like real compressed, heavy octaves. And so that's what this is. Sounds great. Uh, moving on, we have the worn upright. So sometimes, uh, like I did this on, what was that song? Plead the Blood. And it's an upright piano, but it's got like more character than a typical upright piano. So I use this one. <clears throat> then moving on, the uh, dance piano. Uh, then we have the Vibe electric piano.
moving on to the synths. So I start off with uh, just a couple of pads. So I, I think on my last video where I showed the home base patch and how I kind of bounce back and forth, uh, I have the like the real nice pad sound that I use. And this is when we go to like the first chorus of that, uh, you know, the, the top song in a worship set where every, everything kind of falls down. And it's just the vocals. That's what this patch is for. Um, then we have the FM pulse pad. Um, then we move into like a couple poly synths that I like to pull from. So the first one's real expressive when you play with it. Next is the vibey sign. Then the poly saw. This one actually uses my Oberheim uh, preset or my Oberheim sample, but it sounds pretty great. Uh, moving on, I call this the pop pop. If any of you watch Community, pop pop. Um, but this one's like when you want to just do kind of hits on the chords. Sounds great. Uh, and then the Juno. So for the Juno, I actually sat there with like a Juno plugin and went back and forth. Um, I would like to at some point sample in a Juno because frankly, the Nord just can't really get there. Uh, the thing that the Juno does is it has an individual, uh, it has an individual envelope for every voice, right? So when I hit a note, it triggers the uh, it triggers the envelope anew every time I do it, but not on the previous note that you just hit, right? So it's got it just each voice does a little bit more, and then the chorus, like you just can't beat the chorus, and um, just the way they do the modulation, it's just not the same, you know. But this is as close as I can get it. Okay, then I have a couple of like uh, sequencers or arpeggiators in here. So that's one of them. And then the third one. Uh, that one tends to work best in the mix. That's my kind of my favorite one. Uh, and then just a go to mono bass that I use. Um, so that's it for the synths. And then we have the auxiliary patches. And so for these ones, uh, the first one is the dulcimer. I had a couple people reach out for this one. So pretty simple. Uh, and then there's a dulcimer layer, which has two of that same patch, but then the uh, delays and reverbs are kind of doing different things. Uh, then we have this, this cello arp is what I call it, but. It's like a little, when you listen to it, it seems like something you wouldn't do, but I use it in this real specific patch and you'll hear, that's one of those things when you throw it under the surface, it has a pretty cool sound to it. Uh, and then the chaos strings. Uh, 
Again, a layer you can add. Uh, and then we have the male and female choirs. Um, yeah, so that's it for all the sounds. As you can imagine, like, uh, the home base patch with all of those is pretty much all I've been using for a number of weeks, and we've been getting, like, really great results. Like, it's really all you need to get started. So, uh, my hope is that, like, if you're a church that bought a North Stage 4, or you're, like, wondering, you know, what sounds to use or stuff like that, this would be a great starting point for you. Um, I want to walk through just a couple of programs that kind of pull all those together so you can have just a couple examples of that. So we'll go to Awake My Soul first. And then next we have the Washi Pad. King Jesus. So this is what that sounds like. Freedom, which I did a little bit ago. Um, then I have We Crown You uh, with that vibey electric piano. Threw in there was the Great Are You Lord. So this has that uh, vibey sign patch along with the bass, uh, the bass one. So yeah, I will, um, what I'm going to do is I'll post the, uh, I'll post everything as one big bundle. So you would get the organ, the piano, the synths, and the auxiliary patches, as well as those programs that like pull them all together. So you get a few examples. Um, some of you, you know, for the organ, like my setting on the organ is really not any different. The B3 is just so hands-on, um, that my setting isn't any magic amount, you know. Uh, with the pianos, the pianos sound so good on their own that you may not need that. So what I'll also do is I'll post the synths by themselves and the auxiliary patches by themselves as well, um, in case you want those. And, and I might even put the pianos out separately as well. So, uh, so yeah, so you'll be able to get, you know, the whole thing or you can break out and get little pieces. Um, if you have questions on any of this stuff, feel free to pop them down below. My hope is that this is a blessing and that it, it, it helps you guys kind of get the most out of your Nords. And especially if you're a church that bought one of these and you're uh, trying to set up stuff for your players to come in to use, my hope is that these videos would be really helpful in kind of getting them up to speed and, and helping you guys push the boundaries a little bit on all the worship stuff. Um, yeah, 
So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Happy to help. Um, but yeah, if not, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, everyone.